fun to follow you. <laughs> Today, I'll be making pineapple kimchi. So, let's get started. The ingredients for the pineapple kimchi will be two semi-ripe pineapple. I have uh, one quite ripe and then one is uh, semi-ripe. Then to salt the pineapple, I need a tablespoon of salt. For the sauce, I need one white Bombay onion, large. Two apples, one each for one pineapple. 2 tablespoons of sugar that also subject to the pineapple sweetness if it's uh, sweet enough it's 2 tablespoons if it's uh, still sourish then you and can increase to 2 and a half to 3 tablespoons so it's subject to the ripeness of the pineapple and to make the paste also you need uh, you need 1 tablespoon of garlic and 1 tablespoon of ginger you will need about half cup of uh, fish sauce 1 cup fine chilli flakes Rough cut the uh, onion because we need to mince it. Peel off the skin of the apple. By the way, I'm using one red and one green is because I want the sourness of these uh, green apples and the sweetness from the uh, red apples. Rub a little bit of salt into it so that it won't brown, oxidize. So I'm going to use some of the salt from this uh, one tablespoon. Give it a very fine uh, dice like this so that the... Um, blender can reach it. We'll cut up, peel off the skin of this uh, ginger and give it a wash and then again cut into little pieces so that the blender can reach and uh, mince the ginger. Smash the garlic and don't forget to remove the brown tips here. Now if you do not want to have too much uh, garlic flavor in the paste itself, you can omit totally the garlic. Measure half cup of uh, fish sauce. Now any type of fish sauce will do, but if you can get hold of the Korean fish sauce, it will be most ideal. So I'm putting half here, which is a quarter cup to help with the, the mincing. Otherwise the uh, blending stick will have a little bit of problem. Top it up with more apples. So let's begin to mince. So let's start mincing. So once you get into this texture, it's okay already. You can pour it straight into this bowl. Pour it all in, mix it well, and then place it in the fridge for about an hour or two. If you can get it to stay longer in the fridge, it's better. You can rinse with a little bit of water, or rather the boil water. Let's rinse off all the goodness here. Now the apples are quite sweet, I noticed, so we may need to reduce the um, sugar and then again it also subject to the pineapples. Okay, so now we mix it, slowly mix in because the chili flake is quite fine. Now this paste, if it's too much, you can also use this to make cabbage kimchi, it's equally good. So let's give it a taste. Mm. It's not very sweet, but it should be good enough. So I'm gonna put in half of this sugar because I don't want to I don't want the sweetness to overpower the pineapples. Getting all the natural sweetness from the apples and the pineapple instead of just uh, from the sugar. We'll give it another round of taste. Mm. We'll just do this first, put this in the fridge first. Place it in the fridge for about an hour or two. We'll chop up the pineapples. Now remember to cut the core, cut this into half first. But this is once this is clean up, the skin has been removed. And then cut into quarter and then cut into one eighth. Cut this stem away so this is to be discarded. By the way, the kimchi can keep for about three days, three to four days, but it's best eaten overnight. Once it fermented overnight. You can also eat it immediately, but it will not be as tasty. So once you finish cutting, what you what I'll do is I will add in the salt and mix it well. I may need a bigger bowl because I need to stir in the paste. Set this aside for a while, say like 10 minutes before we add the paste. I'm getting a bigger bowl, easier for me to mix. Then I'll mix in the pineapple and some of the juice. 
So I'm gonna mix in the paste. Now I may only use half of this paste because this one, this one really looks like it's a lot. Let's see how it goes. I'm using half first because I might reserve this for the uh, radish kimchi. So use uh, your hand, wear a glove. Just wear the glove so that uh, the chili plate won't uh, hit your hit your hand later. So now gently mix into the pineapples. Now if the paste is not enough, we'll add more. But I'm trying to save some for the uh, radish. So it's really a lot of paste here. Pack it in a clean container. And in fact, you can eat it now. Now I have to taste it because uh, I cut down a lot of salt. Doesn't it look pretty? All right, that's it. Well mixed already. Now let me taste. Let's have a taste. Mm. So good. Natural sweetness with a little help from that one tablespoon of sugar. Mm. It's not very salty, which is uh, good for those who are having high blood pressure. It's very, um, a, it has a little bit tinge of sourness, a tinge of a spiciness, and a little bit of ginger taste. Let me go for another piece. <laughs> Quite addictive also. Mm. Very refreshing. I will pack it in a Tupperware. I will sit this in the fridge. Now, this kimchi can last for about four days, three to four days. Not advisable to go longer than that because the pineapple will go mushy. Use a container like this. It has to be clean and dry. So just pack your kimchi here. Now, I, I know that there's some who likes uh, coriander and all that. You can actually put it in. But if you do not want, you can just uh, put like this. So, there you have it. Pineapple kimchi. Wow! Cover it. Good to last for about four days in the fridge. So, as for this paste, I will be doing the uh, radish kimchi. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, please like, comment and share. Most importantly, subscribe to my channel. Click on the subscribe button and the notification bell. To inform you of any new posting if you have not done so thank you for watching bye fun to follow you